Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another intriguing episode of Unveiling History. Today, we delve into a chilling and captivating chapter of the past, rat torture. This gruesome method was a product of the Middle Ages, a time when societies were grappling with maintaining order and extracting confessions, often resorting to brutal means. One such invention was rat torture. The accused would be shackled, a metal container strapped to their body. Inside this vessel, hungry rats would be introduced, the lid firmly secured. With only one path to freedom, these rats were driven to gnaw their way out, through the accused. This method, as horrifying as it may seem, was born out of a time where forensic techniques were primitive. The pursuit of justice heavily leaned on confessions, even those obtained under duress. The Middle Ages were characterized by a lack of advanced forensic techniques, and the pursuit of justice often relied on confessions, even if obtained through extreme means. To understand why such barbaric methods were employed, we must consider the socio-political climate of the time. The Middle Ages were a period of uncertainty and turbulence, and maintaining order was paramount. With no advanced forensic techniques, the justice system often relied heavily on confessions, even if they were obtained through extreme measures. Rat torture, in this context, was more than a mere punishment. It was a tool for enforcing authority and extracting confessions. The mere mention of rats gnawing their way to freedom through human flesh was enough to instill fear in the most hardened hearts. And fear, as we know, can be a powerful motivator. The accused, bound and helpless, would be subjected to unimaginable physical and psychological torment. The anticipation of the pain alone was often enough to break the will of the accused, leading to confessions, whether true or false. Rat torture was not only physically excruciating but psychologically tormenting, making it an effective tool for extracting confessions from those accused of crimes. While rat torture may have served as a means of extracting confessions, it raises ethical questions about the thin line between justice and cruelty. This method, though historically seen as a means to an end, provokes a profound moral debate. The ethical quandary lies in the deliberate infliction of pain and terror on a fellow human being and the misuse of animals in such a distressing manner. The impact of rat torture was not just physical. It left deep psychological scars on both the accused and those who administered the punishment. For the accused, the dread of impending torture often broke their spirit before the actual torment. For the executors, the constant infliction of such brutal punishment could desensitize them to the value of human life and suffering. As we conclude this episode of Unveiling History, it is essential to remember that exploring the darker aspects of our past allows us to learn from it and strive for a more just and compassionate future. Join us next time as we uncover more intriguing chapters that have shaped the course of human history.